Hey you guys, welcome. It is Jen with Let's Get Chalking with Jen. Happy, happy Tuesday. I'm so excited. I'm getting this all set up for you. Give me one second here. Just want to get everything all set up. As you come in, you guys, please make sure you say hello. In the bottom left-hand corner of your mobile devices is a share button. I would love it if you would share my video. And again, just make sure you come on in and say hello. If you are watching this on YouTube, please make sure you subscribe. I would love for you to stay tuned to all the fun and exciting things coming up. And let me get my screens all set up for you over here, you guys. So, hey, welcome. Happy Tuesday again. Look, you guys, I got my shirt from last night on. It says, what does it say again? I'm not adulting today. Tomorrow doesn't look good either. Right? How cute is that? That was the one we did live last night. I absolutely love it. It turned out perfect. So, hey, Sandy, how are you? So, for those of you that are new, first off, I want to welcome you to the page. I am Jen, and I am an independent couturier with an amazing company called Chalk Couture. Real quick, I'm going to go over this quick because this is going to be a long video. So, what is Chalk Couture? We are a revolutionary concept in DIY home decor and crafting. You won't find our products anywhere else. We offer a line of silkscreen reusable transfers. We have our Chalkology chalk paste and our Couture inks. Oh, I'm so glad you guys like this shirt. Hey, Carrie, thanks for watching. We do offer several services like chalkboards, box wood frames, canvas pillowcases, and totes. And I will be doing pillowcases for you today. But you can use our products on so many other surfaces like wood, glass, dry erase board, tin, and the list, you guys, goes on and on. You saw my great t-shirt, right? Awesome. But the greatest thing that I can offer to you is an innovative ground floor DIY home decor business opportunity. So it's just $99 to join. You will get this amazing kit that's over $240 worth of product. If you're interested in learning more once you see what I do, comment info or me, reach out to me, and I'd love to share that with you. So let me get my screens all set up here. All right, you guys, we are going to be doing some fun pillowcases today so like I said this might be a little bit longer of a video but you guys I'm really really excited because our amazing where's it at right wrong one this will be our second pillow we're going to be doing two pillowcases in this one so our amazing buffalo plaid print is back in stock you guys so if you have been waiting for this to come back in stock it is available it came back today it is always ever popular, and if you are in tune to all the trends, Buffalo Plaid is it. So be sure you check out my website. It's right on there, and again, you can reuse these over and over again. I don't know if you can see my sign back there, but that sign, I did that with the Buffalo Plaid as well, so make sure you check that out. So let me get that off the screen so you guys can see this whole thing. So these are actually, <coughs> excuse me. These are actually the pillowcases that we sell at Chocotour. These are like a canvas pillowcase. They're actually really, really nice. They're thick, very, very qu good quality. Um, I just want to make sure I find my zipper. Where's my zipper? There it is. It's got a zipper down there on the bottom that you will stuff your, in, you know, obviously the inside of the pillowcase in there once you're done. But these come in a pack of two. So I'm going to be doing two pillowcases for you today. One's going to be the buffalo plaid and the other is going to be a part of our super amazing um, corner market collection. Now, when you are using inks, I always recommend our ink mats. Why do I like these? Number one, again, they are totally reusable. So I am just going to peel this carrier sheet off of here. So if you would happen to get these dirty, all you do is clean these off with water. You let them air dry. And do you hear that? It's got a sticky side to it. So that's the side you're going to want to place up on whatever project you're doing. Now these are great if you have a thinner fabric for any bleed through. And by the way, as you can see, they fit perfectly inside our pillowcases. And these are an 18 inch pillowcase, by the way. But what I love 
is this. So what it does is it adheres to your fabric so it gives you that nice smooth surface and that's why I love our ink mats. Okay. Like I said, it can protect with the bleed <laughs> with the bleed through. <clears throat> Sorry, you guys. It's it's getting better. The cold is getting better. But the great thing is, is like I said, it gives you that nice flat surface. Okay. So I'm a little worried because I want to do this with gray ink, you guys, and I don't have a lot left. So I'm I'm hoping this works out or I'm gonna be really like, oops. So this Buffalo plaid transfer, like I had said in the beginning of the video, all of our transfers are reusable. You clean them off with water when you're done. You wipe them off with a Clorox, Clorox wipe, and then you let them air dry. And then what happens is the adhesive on the back gets sticky again. So this one, as you can see, I have used this. You always want to make sure you write on the back. But I have used this transfer several different times. So I'm just going to get this started. And this is a larger transfer, so I definitely recommend you flipping it over and removing the carrier sheet from the transfer just because it is so big. And actually, let me see. This transfer, I can't even tell you how many times I've used it. It's still very sticky, but there's a little spot I'm not thrilled about over there. It'll work. So now I'm going to take this, and as you can see, look how perfect it fits right on that pillowcase, right? Oh, let me flip this around. And you're going to place it on here. You're not fuzzing this transfer up. Again, you're doing it on fabric. You don't need to fuzz it. You just want to make sure you get out all your air bubbles. Okay? So you're smoothing this out so there are no air bubbles in the silk screen. The silk screen is where you can see through, okay? But you always want to make sure if you're doing fabric that you're pressing it down. I like to go over, like I said in my video from last night on my t-shirt, I always like to really go over my silk screen when I'm doing fabric. I'm just pressing that down. So again, make sure as you're coming in, you say hello. I see there's a few more followers on here. So I would love to welcome you to the live. I always love welcoming new followers that are watching, going, what is she doing? Okay. So I think I got that down. You guys, I really don't know that I have enough ink in my gray. So... I'm a little bit worried. I'm not going to lie. I'm going to try it. Worst case scenario, I'll have to do it over in a different color on a different pillowcase. But I want to try it. Alright, so being that this design is so big, I am going to use our very, very large four inch mega squeegee like I this thing is like huge and I love it it comes with a handle you can detach the handle like I said I'm just pressing this down just because I'm really crazy when it comes to the fabric now I'm probably gonna have to use all of this so all I'm gonna do is I'm just taking blobs of it and putting it on my transfer because I'm telling you I don't think I'm gonna have enough so we will see. We'll make it work. You'll take your squeegee and you're just going to pull it across the silk screen, you guys. Okay. Pull it across. And this is what's nice about this big guy. It makes it a lot quicker and a lot easier. Uh oh, I got a bubble. I hope it's okay. It should be okay. We might be good to go, you guys. Oh, I'm going to be happy if I am. I got a lot on here yet, too. Scrape off my excess, put it on my board there. Or my pillowcase, not my board. But do you see how quick this makes it when it's nice and big? The big squeegee. I love this big guy. 
Now you have to remember the ink is permanent, you guys. So you gotta make sure you don't get it on any other parts of the surface that you don't want it on. Yeah, we're using all this. I didn't have a lot left in here, but I think we're gonna be good to go. And I think this is gonna be it for this transfer. I think she's done. I can't even tell you how many times. I've used this for several different pillowcases, several different boards. All right, I got a lot of air bubbles, so it's gonna probably look really vintage, which I'm totally cool with because we're going for that vintage farmhouse look. All right, so all I'm gonna do is get my corner and peel and reveal for you guys. Oh, it looks good. Oh yeah. Oh, it looks awesome. It looks perfect. It's exactly what I wanted. Oh my gosh, you guys. I am absolutely thrilled with this. Look how amazing that looks. Oh my gosh, buffalo plaid pillow. I'm so excited. All right, so let me see if I'm going to have enough in here. I don't think I will. Yeah, no, I'm done with this one. I'm done with my gray ink. All right, I'm going to set this off to the side. I still need to heat set this, and I'll talk about that in a minute, but I want to do the next part, the next design, because this is going to be like a pillow set, a set of two pillows that I want to do for my couch upstairs. All right. So again, what's really nice is our pillowcases come in that set of two, and I'm just going to take my next ink mat. And it fits perfectly. So if you guys have any questions as we're going along, please ask. I would love to answer those for you about any of our products, whether it be the inks or the chalks. Now, um, speaking of that, I might as well just tell you, the inks are made to be permanent, <laughs> excuse me, where the chalk paste is more semi-permanent, okay? So there is a difference. You never really want to do ink on like a t-shirt or a pillowcase because if you clean it or wash it. Oh, Sandy, right? I love the inks. But if you do chalk paste, it will end up coming off. Okay. So this one, you guys, this is called our homegrown collection. So this is part of the market collection. And remember, on the back of all of our transfers, it tells you how to peel, apply, remove, clean, dry, and store. But isn't this gorgeous? I love this one. Happy chalking. I always say that. I love it. So I'm just going to take this right out of here. And I think I'm only going to use... Oops. I'm only going to use the watering can for this. But be sure you go online and check out the market collection. You guys, it's stunning. It is absolutely stunning. If you are into the farmhouse decor, it is perfect. It is right on trend of what is going on in the market, in the home decor market. And I'm just cutting that because I'm not going to be using that piece for this design. And I'm going to set that aside. And I just want to write on the back so that I know what side to put this back on. Okay. And then again, like I always tell everybody, rub your finger over the edge to get it started. Okay, flip it over, remove your transfer. This is a definite brand new transfer. Look at that, you guys. Nice and sticky. Okay. Ooh. Set that aside. Flip it over, and I'm going to put this right in the center of this. I'm only using the watering can. I can't wait for you to see this. When I'm done, I'm going to take a picture of these on my couch so you can get the full effect. But okay, Again, I'm going to smooth this out so there are no air bubbles in my silk screen. Let me turn my heat press on. So how is everybody doing today? I know it's a little earlier than my usual time. 
I had to work at five o'clock today. So today I was five to one. So I was up at like three o'clock in the morning to get ready. So I am sure I'm gonna take a nap today. Absolutely. Now for this one, you guys, I am so in love with this color. This is called Eucalyptus. Can you see that? It is absolutely gorgeous. I love this color. So let me get my little, my little tool. I need my little, oops. I should have been ready, it's my fault. Get my little tool and I'm just gonna get some of this and put it right on my design. Now the inks are definitely a different consistency. Now this is our angled squeegee. Again, it's a larger design. I'm only doing one color. It just makes it quicker and speeds up the process for you. Again, I wanna get my lines out of there. I don't wanna leave any lines in my design. But you only need to cover your silk screen. You don't wanna waste it to put it all over your transfer. It's only where your silk screen is. So keep that in mind too. And you definitely apply pressure so that you're getting it through there, through the silk screen. And I know I said silk screen like a few times, but just making my point for you. <laughs> Applying pressure, it's not like it's painting. You're scraping it. Okay. Any excess you're gonna put back in your jar. Okay. I'm going to put this in my little tub of water and are you ready? Again, never corner to corner, top to bottom, left to right. Oh, that color is amazing. Wow. Look how beautiful that is. You guys, I love it. And I'm just putting my, this transfer, I'm putting in my little tub of water because I'm going to clean it up here as soon as we get off. Okay, so I've got that part done. What do you guys think so far? Isn't it beautiful? My gosh, it turned out exactly the way I wanted it to. Okay, so now we need to heat set these to make them permanent, all right? And how you do that, I'm setting this one off to the side and I'm gonna bring my buffalo plaid back, okay? So first and foremost, that's my heat press. You cannot heat set anything with your ink mats inside. They are not meant to be heated. It will actually ruin them. So I'm just gonna take this out. Okay, I'm gonna get this out of there. I'm gonna set that off to the side. I need my parchment paper. So you're gonna put I don't really need it, but you'll put parchment paper in between the layers. So you're going to put some underneath. And then you'll put some on top. Now, am I missing a piece? It's all right. I'm good. So I've got this in here. I'm not going to use this piece. It'll be fine. The only thing I want to do is I kind of want to dry this a little tiny bit with my hair dryer before we get started. You do have to wait. A little bit. Let me, I don't wanna blow a fuse, sorry. You do wanna make sure you dry this a little bit before you heat set it, because you don't wanna pull it up. It's so loud, you guys. We're not doing that bad on time. Look, we've been doing this for like 20 minutes and we're almost done. And you've made your own DIY home decor. So how awesome is that? I'm going to go with it. 
if I happen to pull it up, because I just want to show you how this works. All right. So if you were home and if you have a heat press, you would absolutely use your heat press that I'm going to do. Um, but if you don't have an e pr heat press, all you use is a regular iron um, on a medium setting and you iron it on both sides for four minutes. Like I said, I'm going to use my heat press, so I'll show you that here in one second. It's warming up. I set mine to 350 and I'm going to do it for 30 seconds on both sides. And then that makes your design permanent. So if I need to spot clean it, if I want to throw it in the washer or dryer, I absolutely can do that. But I'm just going to take this. And like I said, I'm going to heat set this. Now I'll do this a couple times with my heat press because it's so big and I want to make sure I get each area. Okay. So I tend to go over mine with my heat press like four times. Because I like to move it around. But that's it. That's how you make your own DIY home decor. What do you guys think? Do you love it? Okay. And then I'll turn this inside out. And then what I'll do is I will do the other side as well. I'll do the same thing for this pillowcase. And then I'm going to have both of these. Here, let me. I don't want to lay it on top of it, but... Yeah, let me, I'm going to go ahead and finish heating that because I can tell it's still sticky. So I have both of these. I'll stuff them for you and then I will display them right on my pillow, uh, on my couch for you guys so you can see the end result. But if you have any questions, let me know. Like I said, check out that buffalo plaid because it is for sale right now on our website. So is our market collection. And you guys, thanks so much for tuning in and I will talk with you soon. Have a great day.